The Burgoyne Bridge is new. It was built last year, but the bridge in downtown St. Catharines is already home to tragedy. Unfortunately, there's been a couple of suicides and suicide attempts. That loss of life impacted the St. Catharines community. So they reacted. It just goes to show that the community does come back every time. Dozens left notes of encouragement along the rails of this bridge, including Rachel Phillips and Christina Pizzoni. We should just show that we care. These two friends wanted to do more than leave a note. Monday night, they sat on folding chairs and waited. They waited for anyone and everyone. They were here to talk. You know, we listen, and so why not, why not out here at Ground Zero? Sometimes just sitting down and listening is all you really need. The two work as hospital security guards. They say they often deal with traumatic situations and know personally what depression is. We can all get to a point where we hit rock bottom and it's so dark and it's suffocating and it's like, you know, being tossed around the Atlantic Ocean with only a rubber ducky to hold on to and that's what depression does. They talked, they listened, they learned. They sat on this bridge all night, just in case anyone needed them. And one day, they're going to do it again. Just spread the love. It, it works miracles. The St. Catherine Standard reports the city is planning to place suicide prevention barriers or netting on the bridge.